I would go absolutely ham with this stuff if family wouldn't call the authorities on me. This is rhinestone ribbon and I ordered five yards, but it's not five yards anymore because you know I've been bedazzling everything in my damn house. I love this stuff. All right, um, there's only one thing about it that I don't like absolutely adore. Maybe that's more of a me thing. But it feels like this glue back here is like a little yellowy. I wish it were a little more clear um, and I'll explain why in a second, but they have two styles, this one, and then I'll put a picture of the other style here. Beautiful, both of them. Things that I've made with it. Beyonce, Renaissance tour stuff and were a couple of the jars, but I made this with the rhinestone ribbon. So cute, but but what I was talking about that glue, if I were gonna redo this bottle, I would spray this bottle silver first and then go over this. Cause I feel like you can see, I don't know, like maybe it's just me, y'all tell me. Maybe it doesn't look that way and I'm just seeing things, but I don't, it kind of has like a tinge. So picture frames, I had this old and I, I did a video about this. Like this thing was, <laughs> Girl, this thing was busted down, all right? And it went from, it was beyond budget. I would say budget to bougie, but it was like girl to bougie. And I just spray painted it with white and then I just went around this whole thing and just laid it down. And one of the things I love about it is it's so easy to work with because you can just cut what you need, whether it's lengthwise or I had a couple times where like right here, this is shorter than this. And here I only needed two rows. You can literally just bend it and then cut it. I just cut it with scissors and put it down. And once you like push it into place, I mean, it's just, it's very forgiving. It is beautiful. I would go absolutely ham with this stuff if um, my family wouldn't call the authorities on me. And this is the mirrored tile, which I did a separate review on that. And that's what you saw on this little guy right here. This stuff is, mm, these two together. Yes, please. It has a really strong hold, which I love that. Now, if it were something which was gonna be subjected to humidity, I might use like a glue type under it, maybe like a B7000 or E6000, but I'm not because this isn't gonna be subjected to humidity. It's just going to be subjected to me stalking it on my desk because it's so beautiful. Guys, you could put this on or scrapbooks, cards, shoes, if you wanted a little extra flare along the straps of a flip-flop. Put this on clothing too, but don't put it in the machine obviously have it dry clean, but I've seen people do like sashes and whatever with it. It's just beautiful. And it is plastic, it's not glass. One half of an inch wide and it's one, two, three, four, five across. I would say if you were gonna put it on something that didn't have like grip to it. Now this had plenty of grip cause I spray painted it so I wasn't worried about it. Like when I did this, I wiped it down with rubbing alcohol, let it dry and then went over it. Cause of course that's just gonna give it better staying power. But guys, this, I mean, look at it. It is beautiful. And the fact that you don't have to mess with glue, that makes this very dangerous. You could get a roll of this and go to the Dollar Tree and pick up a bunch of stuff and just go crazy. And much beautiful stuff. I'm sure they have this in other colors. This stuff is dangerous, really dangerous. Cause good God, I mean, this is, mm -hmm. I'm like eyeing my stapler over there. Pray for my paper. It's over there shuddering. Like, please not me next. Well, yeah, you're, I'm coming for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.